Hi, I'm the Magpie. And I'm Jack. And this is Mondays, Mondays with Magpie. Tonight, we are going to be making zucchini boats stuffed with sweet Italian sausage. And you're going to like this, especially if you have been eating a steady diet of chicken with steamed broccoli. So the first thing we have to do is get our zucchini and prep it. So here are three zucchinis that I have rinsed or washed off. And all you have to do is cut off the top and the bottom. So here we go. Top and bottom. We do this to all three of them. So this is going to make, it's going to make six servings. And then next we're going to cut them in half. Try to get them nice and even. Also, before you begin this or um, somewhere during the process, you are going to get a 9 by 13 baking dish and get it ready. Preheat the oven to 375 because we are going to par cook these zucchinis. So here's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do this to all six of them, but I'll just show you one. We're going to kind of score down, score across. I mean, think of, you know, now you're making a canoe. All right, so there you go, you've made a canoe. And then I'm going to get a spoon and all I'm going to do is go in and I'm going to dig out the zucchini. This is a lot easier than the last time I made it. Whoops. There we go. All right. So now I have my zucchini hollowed out. And you are going to do this to all six of the zucchinis. And you're going to save all of the flesh in a separate bowl. All right. So this is what it looks like. There you are. See it? All right, now I'm going to go away for a while and I'm going to get all of these prepped and I'm putting this in my, in my baking dish and I'll come back and show you what to do next. Okay, so we have covered with foil now and it's going to go in the oven at 375 for 20 minutes. And now we are going to take a 12 inch skillet, light the fire under it. If you're using electric, put the electric on. And we're going to heat the pan up. Always heat the pan up first. We don't want to put oil or anything into a cold pan. So now, since we made ghee the other day, we're going to use our ghee. And we're going to put a few tablespoons of ghee in the pan. Just a lump. I mean, you know, some things you have to bother measuring and some things you don't, and this is one of them. And if you want, you can also throw in a little bit of olive oil just for, just for taste. All right, so now we are going to, um, we're going to add the sausage. This is sweet Italian sausage. The recipe I'm using, it's, uh, it's from Valerie's Kitchen. I told you I, I don't have uh, original recipes. I use other people's, but I'll show you how to do it. Um, she uses turkey, so if you want to use turkey, it's up to you. Me, I like, I like Italian sausage. So uh, it's sweet Italian sausage, and I always make it with sweet Italian sausage. I've made this any number of times. Okay, so we're going to break it up and start it cooking. We are going to add a third of a cup of onion. This is about a quarter of a decent size onion. It doesn't have to be exact. If you want to use a half an onion, go ahead and use half an onion. We're going to add a teaspoon of chopped garlic. And you can use that minced stuff in the jar if you want to. You can add a, a, a teaspoon of that. And we're going to put in pepper. So we have a third of a cup of red bell pepper. That's going in. You can see it's, a, it's, it's pretty simple, but boy, oh boy, this is the tastiest dinner that you will have and it goes together fairly quickly so you don't have to fuss a whole lot and you can make it the day before and have it in your refrigerator when you come home from your your office or wherever you work 
if you're a working person. I love to say that because I'm retired. Now that that's done, we are going to add the mushrooms. We have half a cup of mushrooms. Now, this turned out to be two cremini mushrooms or brown mushrooms. Let me just show you what they look like. Two, that's all it took, two mushrooms. I think if you want to add more mushrooms, go ahead, but two. I'm gonna put in about a half a teaspoon because I don't think it needs anything else, a half a teaspoon, all right? And then we're gonna use a little bit of, now somewhere around here we have to chop up some parsley, which I forgot all about, but um, I will go out to my deck and get some parsley and we'll chop it all up. All right, so there, but you don't want to put parsley in any way um, until the very end because otherwise it just gets bitter and, and you lose the flavor. And we're gonna throw in a little bit of red pepper. All right, to your discretion, if your family likes it hot, you know, put in plenty. If they don't, just put in a little bit. I'm gonna put in about a half a teaspoon because we like things a little bit peppery, a little bit spicy. Using a jar of marinara sauce. I like to use Rouse, unless you're gonna make your own, you know what's in it, but I looked at the ingredients and there, there are three grams of sugar in this. So um, I think that's about as good as you can get. And I like Rouse, so a little advertisement for Rouse. If you ever have trouble opening the lid to something, you get a church key or a bottle opener and you find a spot where it will fit under the lid and as soon as the lid pops, what do you see this? Up it comes. Voila, no problemo. This is supposed to be a 24 ounce jar. Mine is a 32 ounce jar, but so anyway, there you go. So we put some, some of the sauce in the mixture. Along with the mushrooms, we added the flesh, all that stuff that I took out of the inside of the zucchini, I chopped it up a little bit and that goes in. So now we have everything that we need is in this mixture. We put the onions, the peppers, the mushrooms, the zucchini, and now we are going to turn it on low. I'm going to turn the heat back up. We put a little bit of the sauce in, about half of the sauce, and we've reserved one, uh, about one about a half of the jar actually. But, um, so we, we have some of this reserved. I am going to turn this up now to a simmer. I had it on a real low simmer before. There we are. All right, so now I'm gonna turn it up and we're gonna leave it on the stove for about 15 minutes until everything is cooked and is nice and soft. Remember that parsley that I went out to the deck to harvest? because I was so concerned about the parsley and you're supposed to put it in. So uh, I will do that. I'm turning the heat up a little bit until it gets going again because I want it to be, to be good. So about a quarter cup, that's a bit more than a quarter cup, but you know, once you pick it, what are you gonna do with it? So it's all flavor. So now I'll turn it down just a little bit now that I have that bubble going, and we're gonna leave it go for now for the 15 minutes until everything is nicely done. The zucchini out of the oven. I placed it on some paper towel to really dry it out. I poured the water that was in my baking dish out of the baking dish and threw it away. Now, we take our excess tomato sauce and that's going to go in the bottom of our baking dish. Push it around a little bit. And then replace your zucchini boats in the baking dish, like so. And then we are going to load them up with our meat sauce.
Now that zucchini that we added isn't ready yet. It's, it really is not done. And that's what was supposed to be that way. Because what we're gonna do now is cover it again with foil and we're gonna put it back in the oven for another 20 minutes. So you see, I didn't turn the oven off. Look at that. Mm, that looks so good already. And this is all gonna go back into the oven now for 20 minutes. After that, we are going to cover the top with some a cup and a half of mozzarella cheese, a quarter cup of Parmesan. We're going to put it back in the oven until it's all nice and melty, and then dinner is ready. So 20 minutes has passed. I just took the zucchini boats out of the oven. Mm, look at that. That's what they look like. Hold on a minute. I'll hold them up for you so you can have a good look. See this? There they are. That's them. Beautiful, wouldn't you say? Okay. Now, a cup and a half of mozzarella. A cup and a half of mozzarella is just about eight ounces. So I had bought a pound, I cut it in half, put it in my food processor, and, um, and that's what it turned out to be, just about a little bit more than a cup and a half. We're gonna put a little bit of, of uh, Parmesan. They say quarter cup. I need to put a handful. Okay, back in the oven until all that melts, and then we are ready to serve dinner. So four minutes at 375 was exactly enough time to melt the cheese on top, and now it's time to eat. One zucchini half is one serving, unless of course you uh, you want more. In which case, go for it. These are quite delicious. It looks like I have spider webs of cheese all over the stove. So now I'm going to take our plates into the dining room and my husband and I are going to eat and it's going to be delicious and you can't watch. Let me know if you try it. Watch us on YouTube, Mondays with Magpie. See you next time.